We are here today, uh, game day, with uh, Wayne Strahan of the Fort Francis Lakers of the Superior International Junior Hockey League uh, going into um, game four tonight, uh, up 2-1 in the series. Can you talk about the first three games tonight, Wayne? Well, it's been uh, uh, definitely an exciting series. Uh, both teams have uh, performed well and, and uh, you know, in all three games, uh the outcome could have went either way, and um, you know we're we're uh, fortunate, and and obviously uh, glad it's went our way, and and you know um, just our guys have shown uh, a lot of hard work, uh, have uh, excuse me battled hard, and and you know just have that attitude that they they want to compete and and uh, do as best they can at this time of the year. And like you say, you, the, fir- the first three games, the first one you guys took uh, 4-2 in the, in Red Lake, and then the second one in Red Lake you lost 4-1, and then at home on the 24th you, you, you won 2-1. So it's been seven goals for, seven goals against. Um, I know it takes a whole bench to win a series, but can you talk a little bit about uh, – um, Izzy between the pipes. He's stopped 83 of 87 shots in the first three games. You can talk about his performance so far. He's played very well, uh, you know. And one of the main reasons that we've uh, had the opportunity to, uh, I guess, be in the games and and uh, have success in two of them, and you know, when he's been called upon to make a big save, he's been there and. And he's just been focused and and ready to go, and um, you know, and especially in the last game, uh, we had a, a couple breakdowns early in the first period where um, they had point blank opportunities, and he rose to the occasion to uh, obviously keep the game zero zero at that time, and um, he's just been uh, focused, like I said, uh, square to pucks. Uh, not allowing a lot of second and third opportunities, and and uh, it just seems like he's in his zone and and where he needs to be at this time. And like you say, being being game day, like say tonight at the uh, Ice for Kids Arena in Port Francis. Um, about tonight's game, how do you keep the momentum going from uh, Saturday's game until tonight's game? Well, we need to focus on game four now, and um, really. Nothing in the series matters at this point. Uh, it's uh, not going to be easy. The the um, English River Miners are known for their work ethic, their their uh, compete level, and and they never give up. And um, I don't expect any less tonight. And and them coming to want to keep their uh, season alive. And the the toughest thing in sport is to to actually end somebody's season and, and try to move on. So um, we're going to have to be ready to battle. Uh, we're going to have to be focused. Uh, I've talked about our emotions a lot this um, series, and, and we're going to have to keep those on an even keel and and play our game, uh, not get uh, caught up in um, anything they're trying to do and, and just keep that focus and when we get opportunities to uh, um, create offense or, or put pucks to the net, it's got to get there, and and we got to be uh, keen on um, trying to beat uh, Lanko, who's been good um, through the first three games. And like you're saying about putting pucks to the net, uh, like I said, the only I guess say one of the I guess negative things is in the first three games you've been zero and ten on the power play. What needs to be changed tonight to be successful on that? Uh, we definitely need a goal out of our, our power play. Uh, and it's not that we're not getting opportunities. It's uh, it's just I think we need a little more urgency on our power play right now uh, and a little more puck movement to, to try and generate uh, more opportunities to the net. And, um, you know, they're doing a good job of uh, bottling us up and and pressuring us when they they can and, and then getting pucks out. So uh, we're going to have to uh, win those battles and and um, 
you know, have the thought process of possession before position, and then once we get into possession and position, then um, we got to get pucks to the net and, and crowd that net to, to try and get one home tonight to help our cause. So um, it's something that we've uh, kind of keyed on in the, the days off between games, and and you know we can only hope that uh, we're fortunate enough to get a power play, I guess, but uh, to capitalize tonight. And like you say, we we've talked about the second half of the season where numbers, like say, you were struggling a little bit in in, in the second half of the season, but now you're in the into the postseason. Can you, uh, the guys have stepped up and showed you and your coaching staff, and especially themselves as players, that they can do this. Can you comment on on that for us? Well, I think the the biggest thing for them was belief, and um, you know they went through a a tough uh, regular season and. Um, at times it was, it was really tough. There was a lot of adversity added to them and, and, you know, I've, we've talked about it the last few weeks. It just seems like, um, you know, they were, they were down through the, the month of February we were, and it wasn't like we were, um, playing bad. They were playing good, but, um, when you have a bench of 14 to 16 guys uh, on a nightly basis, it it plays its toll and and probably plays its toll more mentally uh, um, than physically on those young men. And um, you know the addition of our affiliate players uh, from our high school team has has been key for us, and, and they've uh, um you know, played very well for us uh, when they've gotten the opportunity and and it's just changed the attitude in our dressing room and and I think there is that belief in themselves now that they, with these guys and with uh, the number of bodies we have that, um, hey, anything can happen if we put our minds to it and, and that's what they've kind of done, uh, you know, and I, I've liked the way we've finished the season in our play and and I know uh it wasn't the best finish in going I think 04 and um with three uh OT and shootout losses but um our attitude was good our work ethic was good and um they've brought that into the playoffs and and you know what they've you know two out of three games we've had success and we're going to uh, hopefully give it our best to, to see what we can do to finish um, the series off. And, and you never know uh, if we get the opportunity to move forward, what can happen. And that's exactly like I, I was talking to somebody uh, last night about the NOJHL down here where, where I'm from. And, and the Tim the Timmins Rock at the NOJHL took out the Powassan Voodoos who sat within the top 10 of the CJHL, the whole league, for the whole season. So when it comes to when it comes to the postseason, anything can happen, right? Yeah, you're exactly right, and you know I I kind of followed that game last night, and um, just uh, you know when you see things like that, it's uh, it's a kind of a storyline to in hockey to watch, and um, you know you might think, holy, this is hard to believe, but uh, a team comes together, a team believes in one another, they. They band together as brothers to, um, you know, seek a goal and 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 do whatever it takes for one another. Uh, some good things can happen, and and you know, there's a there's a perfect example of, um, you know, probably nobody thinking that Timmins was gonna do what they did, and and they. Uh, are definitely getting hot at the right time and uh you know I didn't watch any of the games and or anything like that. I just kinda followed this the scores on the online and whatnot and just to see uh how things were going and um you know, hot goaltender, uh, and like I said, team coming together and, and peaking at the right time and uh, makes it tough for uh um things to happen in the playoffs and and uh you know you earn what you get and they've obviously done that and and, that, and that's like we've we've talked over the weeks about from like say your your veterans to your rookies to your ap's to your your back end and 
again, they've all come together, and like I say, when they all step up together, they can they they've they're proving to themselves that they can do it, right? For sure, uh, you know that's uh, they're playing as a team right now, and at times through the regular season, you know, as a coaching staff, we were like, are we a team? Do we believe in each other? Uh, um, and I guess throughout the year, you you want everything to come together around this time. And, um, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm proud of the guys and, and what they've accomplished, uh, through the, the last week and a half here. And, and, um, you know, just to, to be around them and, and see them now compared to uh, say a month or two months ago, uh, uh, you can see they're, they're they're loving the game and they're they're having fun and and they're together they're they're joking around they're um, keeping each other loose when they have to uh, after practice you know they're they're uh, working on things or they're they're having fun in a, re- a rebound game or with our goalies and um, you know it's it's good to see uh, and you know. Uh, <laughs> After uh, maybe only having 15 wins in um, the season, uh, I think a lot of people counted us out. Uh, even, excuse me, locally, and um, definitely uh, um, through the first three games here for the short uh, short period of the playoffs, we've we've come alive and um, we're playing some good hockey. Well, Wayne, I can't thank you enough, and uh, I wish you good luck tonight, and uh, we'll talk later in the week. Sounds great, Jay. Thank you.